Hey everybody, it's Anthony. I just received from Miss Cloak this Pear Deck email, and there's a link to a Google Slides presentation, and it ends in copy, so it's going to force me to make a copy. So I'm going to click on that. I should see a little notice. Yes, I want to make a copy. And now I have my copy of the Google Slides presentation. But because Ms. Cloak created this as a Pear Deck, those Pear Deck features are also copied over. So there's some audio embedded. If I scroll down, there are um, some drag and drop questions that students can complete. So to get students to participate, you can go to add-ons. And get add-on, if you don't already have the Pear Deck add-on, you can get it. But I'm going to open the Pear Deck add-on. And then once you have the Pear Deck add-on open, you can start the lesson. It's already got some Pear Deck functionality. So I'm going to click Start Lesson. And here you can choose uh, to have a student-paced activity or an instructor-paced activity if you want to lead uh, this, this presentation in front of your class or if you want students to kind of do it on their own. Either way, the launcher is how you get the activity started. So I clicked student paste so students can go through at their own pace. This would be good for like circ uh, rotations or something if you wanted. And you have a, a few teacher instructions here. You can read over those. Click got it. You can share a link in Google Classroom if you'd like. The other way to get students to join is by displaying this join code. And that's it. Enjoy having your students go through this interactive Pear Deck presentation. And please let me know if you ever want to make something like this on your own. I'd be glad to help.